I coded an entire video game using only ChatGPT and the craziest part is anybody can replicate this exact setup even with zero coding experience. So this is actually a part two to my first video where I just started off with a very basic template and now I can show you my updated version which much better UI and again everything you'll see is all utilizing AI. And let's go ahead and take a look at this homepage. So this is the two buttons and as you can see, you got a little sound effects when I hover over this and basically I have two versions. Arcade mode is where you have levels and then survivor mode is basically just to infinity. So this took me about two weeks and let's just show you how it looks. So here you can see I can move around with my arrow keys and I have these characters coming in and it looks like the volume is quite loud. So let me actually go like here. I have this menu. So here I actually added a volume and right now it's really loud, the music, so you probably can't even hear what I'm saying. Or maybe you can't. And then also have the home button, which goes back home. We have unpause and then restart is basically, you know, restart. And some of these menu items aren't obviously perfect, but that's fine. And then basically I can hit unpause here. And before I continue, you can see I have a score up here, high score, and this is just using local storage. And for people who don't know coding, basically it just means on my computer, it'll save it. So if you were to download this or play this game on your computer, then you probably would have a different setup. And then also I have a health bar, which does subtract when I get hit, AKA take damage. Let's unpause this. And it looks like the volume's still a little too loud. So let me just manually do that for here. And you can see here, I got a sound effects and I have this level complete pop up with another sound effect here. Now watch what happens. Also we got some new characters here. See, when I get hit, I take more damage, like collision. You can see that my character does a little flash effects. And that's what I added actually myself. And then we can see taking more damage. And if I were to die, boom, game over. So it looks like I do have some issues with the UI in terms of the actual bar. But again, this is just showcasing you the setup for this. And then let's just restart. And basically you can see it restarts like this. So now if I were to actually just shoot him like this normally, you can see and then basically it's like a typical arcade game and every level up it resets the enemies and it has a set number of enemies to actually uh to defeat each level and then that's basically the setup and just one thing too is uh let's go back home i'll go to survival mode because probably easier so you don't see all those pop-ups and here you can see for level one my first version if i kill three uh enemies it, it levels up but now you can see here the score pops up there and basically these images are all created using Mid Journey. So let me just pause really quick. This little spaceship character, I just used Mid Journey AI, created this image. I'll show you the code in just a second so you can see exactly the setup, the layout, and how you can go about recreating something like this. And then if I want to restart, obviously you can restart like that. And then also, obviously, this background is just like some random image. These are also uh, Mid Journey, and then basically, these are just everything else is just coded in. So that's the gist of the game. So now let me actually show you the code on how I created this. So here is the code in VS Code Editor I'm using. And this is a upgrade to the first video where I had just a basic template. And you've seen that first video, then you can see how completely different this uh, game looks compared to the, the new version. And what's actually funny is I've never actually utilized some of this JavaScript for uh, coding because I use Canvas. I never messed with that much, but Basically, I could understand JavaScript enough to know what it was asking when I typed in ChatGPT. And then I'll show you how to actually go ahead and start this out and build upon it because this took me about, I'd say close to two weeks, give or take, to tweak out all the bugs and issues because some of the stuff was getting crazy annoying to fix, like like basic uh, basic things with ChatGPT not working. But here you can see this is just basic uh, HTML and uh, pretty much this is the layout. So for people who don't code, this is the essential structure of the entire project. And then CSS is the, the design, the colors, the font changes, all that stuff, these little glow effects. And then we can see here, so I actually asked ChatGPT to make these uh, layouts, ask them how can I make my code cleaner? Cause I used to have everything. For example, I get a function pay, uh, file like this. And basically it told me to separate everything. And sometimes it doesn't, it's kind of annoying because if you have like event listeners here, you gotta go through all of these and, it's just, and you have to uncomment ones that don't work and come back. And then draft is my like main. So I had everything. You can see this like in crazy amounts of lines of code. I'm not gonna sit here and scroll through. You can see 
like ridiculous amounts that I actually had to uh, separate line by line. And if you know basic coding, then you might understand some of the logic here. But basically, this is just simple HTML, CSS, JavaScript. Now, I'll show you how the video. So here, this is the background. And it was supposed to be moving. I don't know why it wasn't. Uh... Yeah, I don't think my background was moving. Yeah, so I, I guess something messed up. So actually, let's do that. Let me show you this real quick. This is how I debug this stuff. So let me just show you first. This is the images. So you can see here, like I have like a, I, try, I was trying to add a boss, but I was just taking too much time. <laughs> so I, I didn't spend too much time on here. But you can see here, this is the, uh, one of the enemies. I think this is my ship guy. Yeah, so this is my ship. And you can see it looks way better on the, you know, the full version. But then in like the actual thing, it's, it's like pixelated. So I wasn't 100% sure how to fix that because this was a mid-journey image and obviously the quality is not, you know, high, high resolution. There are ways to fix it, but it's still the details. It wasn't uh, perfect. And I wasn't 100% sure how to make it look, you know, exactly like this. And the audio is basically all the sound effects. So this is the background. Like, uh, I think this is my, let me see which one this is. Yeah, so this is the button sound. When I, when I click here, I hover over this. And you can see this is the, the typical layout. So now... How do I debug this? How do I even get started for this? If I'm, I'm, let's say you're watching, you want to make a game like yourself. So literally, what I did is first you have to have ChatGPT uh, four because ChatGPT three point five will make you go crazy because the it answers it gives you for this it's you, it's literally not gonna work right. So you can say like write a code for a video game in HTML, CSS, JS, or you could do whatever you want to, right? So I did that in my previous video, so if you want to see that, definitely uh, check that out, the one right before this one. And it's going to give you a template, and then what you're going to have to do is ask it to create sections. So like, for example, this uh, home page. You want to create a home page, then I have this, uh, let me think, where is it at? It should be, yeah, right here. Main menu, little section right here. So this is just the home page, and then you have to write JavaScript to be like, okay, whenever I click this button, so let's say you say, you, whatever I click button, arcade mode or labeled ID this, I want it to navigate to this section. Or you can make it simple, you get the point. But for example, this, I think, uh, let's do this. I think it was background. So I typed in BG music. No, 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 BG, I believe it was BG video. Yeah, so this is BG video right here. And I have, I have another one I was testing out. Oh, it looks like it's not working. So BG video, I want to check something. So BG, so this, I'm sure you guys had to uh, debug this. Now my uh, thing isn't showing perfectly, but here. So here I can say BG video display non loop auto muted. So right now what I can do is I can copy this in here. Go to ChatGPT. I say, why isn't my background video plain? I'll put this. I'll hit enter. I'll hit shift enter to add the little space line, and then I'll hit shift enter again. And then let's go to my functions. Let's see. Maybe it's a. Uh, I wonder if I have it named. So again, I haven't looked at this in like a week, so it's really, really hard to remember. But I think technically this ID video dash background is what I have it called. Or technically this is what uh, <laughs> this is what ChatGPT called it. And let me actually try to, no, it's this one, video dash background. So now we have constants and event lists. So here's constants, video dash background an event listener, video dash background. So for some reason, let's see here, it should be playing. So I'll copy in this stuff here. So I guess I have two. Oh yeah, I guess I've, I've added twice, which should be, it doesn't, I don't know why I did that. Cons video goes document LID, cons video background. Mm, okay, that might be the reason. So if I have, I actually have two, two IDs. So it shouldn't, it shouldn't say, so this one, let me, let me see if I comment this one out, see what happens. Cause actually, let me see, video, background. That should be the only one, yeah, yeah. So if I comment this out for a second, maybe this will fix it. Let's see. Okay, yeah, there we go, look, check it out. So it was a little basic thing. But now you can see a little debugging like this, stuff that's like, I mean, I've, I've messed around with this plenty of times already, so I already know, but like stuff like that's like super annoying. I mean, maybe my volume isn't working. Let me see. Okay, yeah. So I have, volume only does the, the music. But yeah, that's just the gist. You guys can see how my setup is. So technically, let's just say I actually uh, were to type this in. If I were to hit enter, I'll just show you what happens. Here's probably gonna say I don't see anything wrong. 
but it says here it appears the video background is not playing because it's a party video of instead none so th this is the one thing I'd say I'll leave it off with is sometimes your code might be correct but you might have like one little line that conflicts with it so then you're stuck having to Typically, like for issues where some one issue doesn't work, I'd have to ask ChatGPT like three to four different times the same exact question. And then you gotta repaste it. So you can see here, it says, move the display none. And then it's gonna say as some CSS at the background. So what happened is if you try this yourself, it might literally make it worse. So then you have to go in and be like, hey, be like, I did that and it didn't, and it still didn't fix it or whatever you want to ask. And then it's going to send you another variation. And then basically, it's going to get to the point where you kind of see the issue. And if you don't know coding, it might be a little bit harder. But this is a general gist of how I created this video game utilizing ChatGPT. So if you want to see some more videos regarding AI, coding, anything creation, do comment that down below. And aside from that, be sure to like and subscribe for more videos.